girl, it's Allie, and I just wanted to bring a little bit of a different video to you today to show y'all my new typewriter. Well, it's not new, it's like from the 60s, but it's new to me and it's awesome. And I found it on eBay after researching some stuff. I was originally going to buy the Typecast typewriter from we are memory keepers, I think it is. So I was gonna buy it. They were out of the color mint that I wanted. I, I had to have the color mint. I ordered it around, I guess, Black Friday-ish, and they canceled my order because they said that they didn't have any, even though it was showing as it was online. I was a little bit upset about that and decided, okay, well, I'll just wait. I'll just wait for, you know, them to come back in stock. Well, then, I did some research and I read some reviews on how the typecast was just not built very good and then when my friend Jan got hers she said this is not built to last and so I was like well darn like what do I do I really want it to last I want it to be like an inheritance for my children's children so <laughs> anyway I decided to again do some more research and the the body of it was kind of copied after the Smith Corona. And so I was like, what's a Smith Corona? So I went on all these typing forums. I mean, there is a form for everything out there, truly. Well, I went on these typing forums and I kind of was looking at the Smith Corona and I found the body style that I liked and it was like the 50s and 60s and 70s. And so I went and, and kind of researched on what I needed to be looking for in a vintage typewriter and I think I found my perfect typewriter. I mean, it works so well. I got it off eBay, I won it. And I, I remember it was, I think it was right after Christmas that I had it uh, at the end. And I hope I didn't outbid anybody that is one of my viewers because the person that was trying to outbid me was a person that had zero feedback and they were just bidding on typewriters. So I'm not sure about all that, but I got it for the same price, not shipping of course, cause it's like dang massive, but I got it for the same price as I would have a brand new typecast and it's like so much better built. And so anyway, I wanted to flip the camera down and show y'all and share with you some of the things that I've learned on what to look for. I asked a bajillion questions to the seller before I bid on it. And this is just gonna take my journaling to a whole new level. I am so excited. I mean, already I have been typing on vellum. Hello, tip this in and you've got a cool clear element that's got fun vintage typewriter stuff. I'm scanning in different sentiments into Photoshop and putting them on my tip-ins and pictures to share with my patrons. I'm so excited! Okay, enough of me blabbing, I'm gonna show y'all now. Go look on iPad and go look at the, there's a, a tutorial on Create a Bug on how to start, okay? That's how I learned. So my son has decided that he, I started um, weaving. So he wants to start looming and weaving like mom. And so we made him a little cardboard loom for now to see if he likes it. And so I started weaving and I'm making, it's so relaxing and I got, this was like uber cheap. I know it looks big, but I got some roving today. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to start adding that poofy roving. This is my new baby, I'm so excited. So this is a Smith Corona Sterling. And I thought I was gonna name him. I'm gonna make it a him, for sure. And I got this one. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit on the outside, no big deal. But all the keys are like totally intact and they all work. I asked a ton of questions. If you're looking for a vintage typewriter, first off, you need to make sure that the seller knows and is experienced with shipping these. They cannot be shipped all like jostling around in their case. It did come with a case and so they need to really be packed carefully so that this carriage doesn't move like crazy during shipping. Also it's important to kind of, you know, keep these protected. It's just important that in the case it's got some cushioning around it and then obviously some cushioning around the case. So this came in like a moving box. <laughs> I kid you not. It came in a Home Depot 
I think it was like a medium sized moving box with a ton of bubbles and packing tape and which is great for me because I'm about to move and I need that kind of stuff for my fragile stuff when we move. But yeah, you need to make sure they're very experienced with, with, um, with shipping these guys out. You can go on Etsy and find some already refurbished typewriters for crazy expensive, like anywhere from 250 to 500, $600, but they're completely refurbished. They're shiny. They usually have a new, um, like a new, uh, what do you call it? Clear coat on them. Some of the Royal ones, the vintage Royals are so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. They're so gorgeous. But I really, really liked this body type. It looked just really retro to me. And I actually, the turquoise works better for my, my studio because all my stuff is turquoise and mustard and orange and pink and all that. The other thing you need to kind of look for to see if it actually works. The one sentence you can ask the seller to type for you in both uppercase and lowercase and then all the numbers and the shift and stuff is I think it's the quick brown box jumped over the lazy dog. I think that's what they, they test typing in. You have your spacing here up on the top left, and that just means one, one notch up, two, three. These are your margins. You can make them, you just push them in and move them wherever you want, and that's your margin. It's very, very simple. Um, when it reaches here, you'll hear the ding. It's so cute, and I love it. Another thing, another thing very important is your roller. Sometimes these rubber rollers can get deteriorated if they have not been taken care of. So just making sure that you get a nice good close up of your roller. Um, this one opens up, I don't think you can see that at all, but it opens up like this. This is completely metal. And on the typecast ones, though, this part is actually plastic. So this is the inside look. Oh my gosh, is that not cool? All of these little things. It's low battery. Okay. It's like a blinking red light. Okay, is it still filming? Okay, all of these hammered letters are attached to hinges and they go here. This is, it's, this is all mechanical, all manual, which is why I love it. On this particular typewriter, um, there's definitely a little bit of some dirt and it looks like maybe some oil spills or whatever, because you usually you oil these uh, keys to make them smooth. To, oh, did you hear the ding? Oh my gosh, that was an accident, but how cute. I'm not quite sure. I think this might have, I don't know what that has to do with or not. I'm not sure what that thing does. I don't even know if you could see that, but there's this little thing in here. But yeah, that's the top. And let's see, this changes the ribbon color on this model. You have two uh, colors. You can do black or you can do red. And then, so that changes that. And then you have um, this, of course, takes your thing out so that you can get your paper in there. And then this releases the carriage if you need to do anything. There's your space and all that. It's just really awesome. I'm not quite sure what these do yet. This is a tab. Um, and then, and it does, it is like clunky. So as I'm typing, I'll notice that the typewriter actually starts doing this number because the carriage is so heavy and going over, but it's actually quite easy to type on it. So let me just share, show you. I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not. So if you just put it in there and then go like this, if your paper doesn't happen to be uh, straight, there is a little release right here and you can actually lift up on either side, see how it releases everything to make it straight, which is super awesome. I think I just made it cricket actually. Ha! So you can go here, so that's where the margin is set. If I wanted to make it something else, I can push it in and um, here, move it. So, so then when I go like this, it would stop there instead of all the way at the end. Does that make sense? Okay, so let me type something. So you, when you are asking a seller for proof-ish, I guess, from pictures to see if the keys work, you can have them uh, say you would like them to type the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog 
in caps and in lowercase, and then all of your symbols and your tabs. So this right here like locks the caps, and then you release it with this one. If you just want to go caps real quick, it shifts the whole thing down to let those uh, upper cases hit the paper. So here's the top one. that all of those letters work. And then you can go down the top row here, symbols. There's a thing here, 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 here. Okay, so there's your symbols. Okay, and then doing it again with no, with lowercase. So that lifts everything back up. Ooh, my Z's off. So see, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. So you can see two alignment issues. So we can see that the Z, I don't know why it came off, but the Z was off for a little bit on this one. But honestly, I kind of like how that looks. I love the characteristic of a typewriter when it has different things. Like I had some shadowing the other day. If you, if you type a little too heavily on this, you wanna have, I never took typing class on a legit typewriter, but I've heard and read that it's like a very staccato motion. You don't wanna really bang hard on it, but if you go too lightly, then you're not gonna get an impression. So just play around with your hardness on how you push down. This one's so easy. Like the A is usually a big problem for people and the L is a big problem for people, but it is so easy for me. La 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 la. <laughs> That's what I just uh, typed there. But anyway, it's so easy for me to type that and you can practice going hard, which is super crazy and soft, crazy. And the about medium is what I like, but I just love the texture and the different things that you can get. I even like it when I, make a mistake here. So like I have lazy and I spelled it with an X. You can go back and just type right over it. I like how that looks. I don't know, I just like it. So anyway, just to show you that, you know, these are the sentences that you use. Oh yeah, and I didn't do the, um, I didn't do the symbols for here. I love, I love the numbers. So there's the numbers and then the half, there's a scent and all that good stuff. Those numbers just, oh my gosh, I swoon over those numbers. I'm gonna use those a lot. Do you think that people back in the 60s ever thought that someone from 2017 was gonna type on their typewriter? And then the one thing that my husband said that I just thought was so cool, imagine where this has been, like, was it a no did a person who wrote novels write on it? Was it a person in the government who was writing like top secret stuff? Were they writing on it? Or was it just a person who was, you know, wanting to correspond with a lover overseas writing with it? I don't know. It's just really cool to have a, an item that people have, you know, put themselves into to, to correspond, to write. And I just think it's so cool to me that that literally happened. I mean, on this machine and what are the stories that came out of this and what came out of this machine? I just want to know, I want to know. I'm so thankful that it didn't work out after two times ordering and two times it being canceled, but it actually ended up being a blessing in disguise because I got this one and I think this one's so much better made. It's so easy to type, I'm having so much fun. Oh, and look, I, you can change the colors, love, Y'all, see, there's my different colors. And one thing to know about this model, the Smith Corona Sterling, the ribbon spools, you can use the typecast because the body was kind of mimicked, the Smith Corona. Um, you can buy the spools for the typecast and they fit perfectly in the, I think it's two inch ribbon spools, I think. I got these on sale and so I've got a really fun magenta brown and I've got teal also. So I'm really excited to try experimenting and putting other colors in here to use in my journaling. I'm so excited. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to think of to tell you before I leave. eBay's where I got it. Make sure the seller obviously has good 
feedback, ask tons of questions. The seller that I purchased from was so gracious with all my questions. He answered everything in a timely manner. There's another one on eBay, this exact same typewriter. <laughs> so I'm like, oh God, I hope, I hope we don't have like a war with that one. But it's $99 and the cheaper shipping than I did with this one, but the seller has not responded to me about this sentence that I asked him to do in like two weeks. So I'm not quite sure if I trusted that seller. So that's why I went with this seller, even though it was more expensive and the shipping was more expensive, I was able to get all of my questions asked and ensure that this was working. I still took a risk shipping it because things can happen in shipping. That's what the typewriter guy here in town told me. He's like, you're risking a lot by having it shipped. And so I just, I got insurance on it too. I'm looking at, he told me just for a cleaning and a good oiling and just cleaning all the insides. I think it was $65 to get it tuned up. But to me, I think that would be great because he was, the man in town was just so helpful and sweet. And I just really want to give him my business. And so can you imagine all the fun stuff I can do with this? Oh my goodness. I guess I can just like pull this out, right? Oh, there it goes again. So much fun. I'm hoping I can type on pictures. I'm, I'm gonna experiment on pictures. I'm gonna experiment. I've experimented on vellum. I don't know if it would take watercolor paper. Um, let's see, here's this. This one I've used. Yes, sweetheart? I need Parker. Oh, you need Parker, okay. So many things going on right now. So here's the little tip in that I created for my patrons that I cut out and this is just regular cardstock. And let's see. Let's see what I could do on this one. Are you talking to the internet? Talking to the internet, yes. That's cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're over my shoulder. I was like, what? Sorry, it's just now your typewriter makes sense with your crafting. Because I was wondering about that. What? Why wouldn't it make sense? I just thought, like, are you going to put letters in your journal? No, I'm going to put them on tip ins. That's actually pretty cool. I have the seal of approval from Bathtub Man. <laughs> no, it wasn't the hidden and approval. I just didn't know how that fit with what you do. If I journal. This is the I next see, step. One understand. day I'll make it to computers. I don't know. <laughs> that's really cool though. Look, see, that's cool. So I can type on my tip ins. And like if it's, this is like thick cardstock. So if it's like thinner paper, like, oh my gosh, the Jane Davenport paper, y'all, I will totally be typing on that paper and adding them as tip ins in my journal. So many exciting things. Thanks all so much for watching. Oh, look, my nails match my typewriter. Yay. I will see y'all later. Have an amazing day. Bye. What's that, Mom? Can you get the dog out? Yes. He got groomed, so his like little aren't as bad, but it's still annoying. Oh my gosh, my dog. But see, I just turned my eyeball out. This is an iPhone picture. I took that with my phone.